The, the reference to the Book of the Dead and the Sea of Reeds there, that is called Shi'ar or Shi'aru, uh, just like Shi'hor is the Lake of Horus, the other lake I showed you beside to the north of uh, Yam Suf. But in the Book of the Dead, there is a body of water called Shi'ar, the field of reeds. But it's a place where the deceased washes themselves and prepares for resurrection. So uh, it's a different word altogether than Suf, it's Yaru. Um, but whether or not the, the body of water in the Book of the Dead is seen in geographical terms to be located in the same area that we were talking about now. That is a possibility, um, but it could be because the, the, in the Book of the Dead, the Sea of Reeds there, Shiyar, or Shiyaru, plural, is first found in the pyramid text a thousand years earlier. So again, this is a very old tradition that goes back before the Book. The Book of the Dead is roughly from the New Kingdom to the Roman period. And the earlier versions of this is the pyramid texts that go back to at least 2400 BC. So uh, again, we find the, the field of the, the Sea of Reeds is a far more ancient thing in Egypt than the Book of the Dead but they had the same function. This is where the dead king uh, would, would wash and come out and resurrect, and uh, also the idea the sea would rise out of the water, sorry, the sun would rise out of the water every day uh, to new life. So some people have suggested there's some symbolism of the Israelites in the Sea of Reeds marking the, re the birth of the nation, just like when you come out of the Sea of Reeds, you're born uh, to live another day kind of thing, but, but the word is not the same. <laughs>